The Special Olympics of South Dakota held an opening ceremony today for their new bocce complex in Rapid City. Along with being done on time, the project also came in under budget. Kettle Land's Tyler Louder stopped by to check out this new addition to the city. A new sports complex off of Omaha Street in Rapid City is now the home of bocce ball. This is really a, a, a tremendous uh, asset to the community, not only just for the uh, the athletes from the Special Olympics, but for the entire community. This is a, a complex that will be open for the public to use. These eight bocce courts run 12 feet by 60 feet, which are the same regulations the national game is played by. These are going to be unique in that we have the framed courts that make it even uh, more uh, uh, realistic or more uh, comparable to what they do nationally. Now with the completion of the Special Olympics bocce complex, they will be able to host their events here, including the state tournaments in 2024 and 2025. These tournaments can see over 100 teams participating, including Unified Bocce Ball, which features a team with one athlete without and one with a disability teaming up. Once you start doing it, you say, this is fun. And then, and then what I will tell you is somebody that doesn't have a disability, um, go out and find, find one of our athletes and team up with them and be a unified partner. And I tell you what, you'll, you'll love it and you, will, you won't be able to get enough of it. While this sport may seem new to many, it has actually been around for quite some time. Bocce is an old, old sport, but it's probably relatively new to the people of Rapid City, so we hope that everyone will come out and, and, and try their hand at it. No matter your age, skill level, or abilities, bocce ball is a game all can enjoy together. In Rapid City, Tyler Lauder, Kelloland News. The bocce complex is open to all who wish to participate. You just need to bring your own game balls to play.